Hey, Lincoln, how would you like your first real babysitting job? Babysitting? Like for money? I'm in. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't give a babysitting job to stinkin'. I'm next in line. But Lynn, let's face it, you're not exactly the nurturing type. What now? I can nurture all day long. Kids love me. Right, Lise? Yeah, if it'll get you to stop bruising my cranium, I'll gladly respond in the affirmative. See, that's a yes. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Fair is fair. I want some of that sweet babysitting moolah, too. Bye, Mr. and Mrs. McCauley. Don't worry, they're in good hands. So, what do you guys want to do? Play with my science kit. Play with my dress of sticker books. And... Sounds lame-o. Come on, I'll show you guys how to have some real fun. Uh -huh. When I blow the whistle, you guys run to the center of the ring and wrestle. Guys, Lucha Libra is a contact sport. This time, Caleb, you bounce off the ropes and come back at Camille with an angry possum. Like so. Ah! I'm stuck! I guess you guys aren't ready for wrestling yet. Because <sighs> first you have to get into shape. What up, fellow babysitters? Hey, how did it go? Oh, great. I hit it out of the park. Wow. Good for you. Thanks for letting me in the group, you guys. It means a lot. Well, dudes, guess we misjudged old Lynn's sanity. Hello. Oh, hi, Mrs. McCauley. What? She did? She did? Angry possum? But, but, okay. Good night. What happened? Lynn terrorized the Macaulay kids. So now we're all fired as their babysitters. No what? way! What if we can get her to want to quit babysitting? How would we do that? Easy! Get her to sit for the worst kids in Royal Woods. The Fox Quintuplets. <sighs> they were literally a nightmare. <laughs> so mean! Little monsters. Bad to the bone. So it's a plan? It's, it's a, a plan. plan. Hey, Lynn. Can we talk to you? Okay, I know what you guys are going to say, but before you get mad, let me explain. Oh, we're not mad. We get it, dude. You were just trying to prove you could handle babysitting. And guess what? You proved it. Really? So your clients liked me? <gasps> Literally loved. Yes! I knew it! I told you guys. So, you taking me off the bench? Yep. In fact, we already have a new client lined up for you. Sweet. Who is it? Later, Mr. and Mrs. Fox! So, gang, what should we do tonight? Yeah! Hey, guys, what's up? Wait a second. I thought you were babysitting the Fox Quintuplets. Who are those guys? Those are the Fox Quints, duh. Wait, how did you get them to behave? It was a cinch. First, I showed them that if they want to get crazy, I can get 10 times crazier. Next, I wore them out with athletic competition. And lastly, three words. Horsey reward system. <laughs> wow, impressive. Well, anyway, I guess we should get going. Wait a minute. What's going on? Why'd you even come here in the first place? Nothing, dude. We were just in the neighborhood. We were? I thought we came here because we felt bad about trying to get Lynn to quit babysitting. <laughs> That's funny, Lenny, but jokes are my territory. Come on, let's go. You wanted me to quit babysitting? Why? You said your clients loved me. Well, they didn't. You actually terrified their kids, but now I think I know why. They just weren't the right kind of kids for you. These guys are. None of us could handle them, but clearly you're doing great. We're sorry for trying to mess with you. Well, that's cool. I guess it wasn't so great that I tried to steal your clients from you. So, I'm sorry about that. Apology punches! Dude! Ow! 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 Coach Lynn, we're ready for bed! Well, duty calls. I'm glad we're good. I'll see you guys at home. You got this, Margo! <laughs> Mm. Hey, you still gotta pay for that. What do you kangaroos owes me big? That's Balfour! Ugh, oh, time, time. 
All right, you're done, kid. Time to bench it. Paula, look alive! You're pitching! Team Captain Lynn Loud is making her fifth pitching change. <laughs> that ball is out of here! Oh. Ah, oh, come on! Don't worry, LJ. You've still got plenty of time left in the season. And I'm here for you no matter... Oh! Farm fresh eggs! I mean, to make you a consolation omelet? I'll take a dozen cow pies, please. This mama runs on manure. You got it. Lucky for you, Bessie had a big morning. Farm fresh cow pies coming right up. Whoa. Oops. Sorry, fella. Oh, Liam. Why didn't Stinkin' ever tell me that you had such an incredible arm? Uh, I don't know. Hey, 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 you want to play some baseball? Our team could really use you. Oh, sounds fun. But the only sport I've ever played is hog wrestling. No prob. You got the best trainer in the biz. And with you on the mound, I might be able to turn this season around. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, now just pretend like you're throwing a cow pie and aim for that egg. That's the magic strike zone. <laughs> your speed is incredible, but your control could use some work. Well, baseballs feel mighty different than cow pies. And they sure do smell better. <laughs> more to the left. Uh, more to the right. <sighs> Don't think so much. Just pitch. <sighs> Welcome to the team, cow pie kid. Woohoo! A celebration like this calls for a pig pile. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> All right, you ready for your first game, kid? I'm more nervous than a sheep with the hiccups being shorn, but <gasps> just remember what we practiced. Don't think. You got this. Yeah. Fly ball! Now pitching for the kangaroos is rookie Liam Honeycutt. Word is that Captain Lynn Loud recruited him from the farm after seeing him toss some cow pies. Let's see how this kid does with a baseball. <sighs> <sighs> Strike one! Strike two! Strike three! You're out! You're out of here! Strike three! Hit the showers! The kangaroos have won their first game this season with a shutout. Thanks to Lynn Loud and her new ace. There's a glimmer of hope for this team. Great job today. Oh, shucks. Thanks, Paula. Okay, listen up, everyone. That was a great game, but we need to keep these wins coming. That means we gotta work hard and give it our all. And Liam, you're gonna pitch every game. Wow, I'm honored. But I sure hope I don't let y'all down. Don't worry, cow pie kid. We believe in you. Swoosh. Swoosh. Boom, baby! New record! Whoa! Number one! Up top! Oh, 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 you're almost there! Oh, right there, just grab... Oh. Yeah. Oh. Elliot, I'll win you that stuffed triceratops if it's the last thing I do. Ugh. One, one two, two, three, go! Oh. Just like you. No, you are. Victory hug! Ooh. Ooh. Who wants to go to my house after this? I got a new sports injury compilation DVD. Oh, well, that sounds fun, but it's couples night at the Cineplex. Two for one. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh.
All right, time to scout myself a date. Let's see who can keep up with Lin Loud. On your mark, get set, go! Forget this. There's no way we could beat her. Huh, guess I gotta try something else. Are you even trying? Ugh, I'm sorry. They're just like really, really strong. Thanks. I never skip arm day. Uh, okay, well, this isn't working. Time to change up my strategy. Free burgers! Help yourselves! What's the catch? Oh, no catch. Just want to see who can handle the heat. Wow, this is good. Can I have another? Even better. You can go out with me. Wait, what? You know, like go to my roller derby games and hang out with my friends and me? Can we also get more burgers? Deal. <laughs> Lynn. Dexter. <laughs> hey, Lynn, wanna play ping pong? <laughs> yeah. I'll grab us some paddles. Take it for. I was thinking we could play doubles. Kato and me against you and Dexter. Uh, who now? Oh, right. <laughs> the old ball and chain. Sure, why not? Got it! That was amazing! Just like you! No, you are! Victory hug! <laughs> you guys really don't have to do that after every point. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh. Aw, oh, yeah, Dairyland! This was such a good idea, guys. I can't wait to check out the new cattle battle. Oh, oh, oh! I might even try to beat my personal puke record on the curdler. Maybe next time. Today is all about the new sweetheart land. <laughs> We've planned an awesome day. Sharing hot chocolate at the cocoa corner. Holding hands on Fly Me to the Moo. Sunset raft rides through the tunnel of butter. Just think, that'll be you and Dexter! Ugh. Hey, can we talk? Privately? Ugh. There's probably a way you're supposed to do this, but I don't know it, so uh, yeah. We gotta break up. What? Look, it's nothing personal, but the only reason I asked you out is because all my friends are doing the couples thing, and I don't want to be left out. Late bloomer, huh? That's rough. Bro! Oh, oh, I'm sorry, sorry. The thing is, this mushy couple-y stuff isn't for me, and I can't keep trying to fake it. Uh, I'm just sorry if you've, you know, Fallen head over heels in love with me or something. Um, actually, I only said yes to dating you so my friends would stop razzing me about not having a girlfriend. Ooh. Huh, totally get it. Dude, private conversation. Oh, yeah, yeah, my bad, my bad. Moving on. Wow, well, I definitely didn't see that coming. But I guess I'm glad I'm not the only lame-o here. <laughs> Who says we're lame for not being into all that romance junk? Maybe your friends are the weird ones. No. Definitely. <laughs> Luan, no! You can't sit like that! Pretzel style only on game days. It's good luck. You two pops, crisscross applesauce. If I'd known, I would have done some pregame stretches. Looks like this pretzel's a little salty. <laughs> hot dogs, funnel cakes. Get your hot dogs and funnel cakes. Ah, the reason I'm here. I Stop! He can't order food from him. He's a mush. Bad luck. Hey, Vicky! Let me get two porksters and a couple of doughboys. Goofy foot style! That's your standard hot dog with powdered sugar and funnel cake with mustard. It's good luck for the team. Oh, oh, oh. Rowdy McQuads is on a breakaway! <laughs> Do these were lucky. Ah, tastes like luck. Okay, second period is starting. Time to change. Change? Yeah, 
I have a first period jersey, a second period jersey, and a third period jersey. Now get in! Ah! <laughs> oh! 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 Woo! Two, one, jellyfish! Good work, bro. What did I have to do with that goal? Team effort. The more people in this jersey, the better the luck. What? Ah! So, this is cozy? <laughs> No, 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 you gotta stay in it. It's good luck for the team. Uh -oh. And the Gabagools score! This isn't working. Everyone out. <laughs> Quick, put these on. He shoots. The wolf. He scores! I knew the lucky hats would get us back on track. Oh no. It's a lice outbreak! Shed the hats, kids! It's not lice, it's a hat trick. When a player scores three goals, fans throw their hats on the ice. Lose the hat, Fern. <gasps> You're the only one who still has one on, and we're so close to a win! <laughs> That's it! <whistles> You're out of here! Huh, sounds like some losers getting the old boot from the arena. <laughs> and that's your sister. Uh, Hold tight, LJ! We're coming for you! No! I'll be fine! You all have to stay here and keep my good luck rituals going! What good luck rituals? I taped a list in my seat! Uh, oh! Um, guys, Lynn's back. LJ, wait up! Not the time, Dad. You know I need a full 24-hour cooling-off period after losses. But, 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 honey! Look, no offense, but I don't want to talk about the game at all. Hey, it's the penguin! <gasps> yeah, uh, not the time, Rowdy. Wait, were you talking to me? Yeah, we've been calling you the penguin in the locker room. I've never seen anyone move like that on the ice, and I would know, I'm... Rowdy McQuad, the Michigan maniac! Record holder for most goals and most penalty minutes in a single pro season! Hockey Hotshot Magazine called you a grinder with a heart of gold who enjoys snowmobiling, hiking, and crocheting in his free time! So, you've heard of me? Look, Rowdy, I owe you a big-time apology. When I was doing all my game day rituals, the jellyfish were winning. Then I got kicked out of the arena and you guys lost. But we didn't lose. We won. What? How? I wasn't there to do my good luck stuff. We athletes are a strange breed with our superstitions. I've worn the same pair of underwear every game since college. Actually, I'm wearing them right now. But the more you play the game, the more you realize that sports aren't predictable. Honestly, it's the unpredictability that makes playing the game fun. Hey, you think I could get a pick? The guys in the locker room aren't going to believe I met the penguin. Sure. <laughs> Remind me to buy you a new mouth guard when we get home. Boom! Welcome to Loser Town. Population, you, 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 you. Well, now that that's over with. Wait, 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 hold up. Tonight's special. It's my 300th win in a row. I am unbeaten by you chumps. Ugh, I can't take this anymore. She is so obnoxious. If only we could beat her just once. Maybe she'd stop gloating. How are we gonna do that when she's better at every game on the shelf? Maybe we need to try a game that isn't on the shelf. Something that Lynn doesn't know. Something that one of us is really good at. I think I might have just the game. Pretty, pretty pageant queen. I don't even know how to play this. Oh, okay. If you're afraid of losing, I'm no loser. It is on. Oh, just earned my sash. Just two spaces from being the pretty, pretty pageant queen. Hold up. It says in the rule book that if you can roll three tens at once, you get three tens from the judges and an automatic win. <gasps> Good luck. The odds of such an occurrence would be one in 1,720. Damn it! Oh! <gasps> 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 
Behold, the settlers of Catland. The objective is to build as many cat structures as possible. But here's the kicker. One cannot do so without forming alliances. Ergo, if we freeze out Lynn, she is bound to go down in proverbial flames. But, uh, seriously? No one has a yarn ball to trade me for some catnip? <laughs> I can't build squat! This game bites it hard! Well, I see our time is up. We have a 10-way tie for first, with Lynn in a distant second. Count it again! Lynn, I do not make errors. Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. I can jump faster than you. Uh. I win! In your face, Milkin! Woo! Yes! I win! I stacked more blocks than you! We all know why we're here. The Lynn situation is literally the worst thing that's ever happened. Mm, we never should have beat her at that cat game. I say we challenge Lynn to a rematch, only this time we throw the game. That way, she'll feel like a winner again and stop driving us crazy. One? Ah, come on! Are you sure you read that right? Six all day long, baby! Hey, what's so wrong with you? you then? What? The plan was to throw the game, and no one else was doing it! Wait a sec. Throw the game? You guys were trying to lose to me on purpose? Okay. Yes, we were. We just thought if we let you win, you'd stop being so insanely competitive with us. I was just trying to get my edge back after losing to you guys. Well, to be completely transparent, the only reason you lost is because we all teamed up against you. What? Why would you do that? Because after your 300 wins... Well, technically 303, but who's counting? We couldn't take your gloating anymore, dude. Yeah, we were all in the same gloat. We were tired of eating your gloat meal. Not now, Luann. Wow. So you're saying I'm a bad loser and a bad winner? Precisely. You all feel this way? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Kind of. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be a jerk. I just love playing games, especially with you guys. Look, if you give me another chance, I promise to be a better sport. What do you say? Okay. Why not? Oh, okay, Lynn. Okay. Yes! First to apologize. Ugh, sorry, that was the last one. Better sport starting now. That's all my cards, so I guess... You can say it. You win. Okay, cool. I win. Good game, guys. Good game. Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. No, Mr. Grouse, it's me, Lynn Loud. I'm not buying what you're selling either. I just thought I heard you watching the game. Uh, well, you thought right. What of it? Can I watch it with you? I uh, suppose it beats high five and myself. Come on in. <laughs> TV's in the den. Huh, you have a den? I don't have time for architectural small talk loud. The game's on. <gasps> Whoa! Are you kidding me? This room is sick! Well, I would have accepted a comfy, but okay. Have a seat. Oh, in a sec. Go, Lions, go! Go, Lions, go! Rawr! What the heck are you doing? It's my lucky ritual. Ah, oh, brother. <laughs> Sorry, I need to sit on this side. Let me guess. More luck? Yep. I'm already regretting this. Sorry, I got a little pulled pork stuck in my chompers. You're getting cheese dust everywhere. Want some? My lucky hat! Uh, missed a spot. And the lions fumble! Oh, 
Are you kidding me? Championship! Oh, get off my case. I'll just rewind to see what I missed. What? We can't rewind? Then we won't be live. What's the difference? You know, maybe it's better if I watch the rest of the game at home. Suit yourself. Huh? <laughs> oh, what happened? We returned the kick 41 yards! Oh, dang, I missed it! Hold on, I'll rewind it. If Queen Lynn doesn't object... Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it! The driver with a stiff arm and he's into <gasps> Rhino territory. Finally brought down after a 41-yard return. Oh, man, that was a wicked run. I know. Uh, you can sit back down if you want. Yeah, sure. Maybe just for a minute. Seconds left, and the score is tied. If the Rhinos can move the ball close enough, they can kick a field goal and win from the shotgun. It's a Lions interception, and he's running it in for a touchdown. Lions win the world champion. Don't just stand there, G-Man. Shake it. Dance or the Lions won't win next year. What? That's out of nonsense. It's not nonsense. It's fun. Just copy me. Eh, looks easy enough. I'll give it a try. Now you're doing it. Woo, woo! Uh -huh. <laughs> Woohoo! I feel so alive! <laughs> Thanks again for inviting me over. Uh, technically, you invited yourself. I just let you stay. Whoa, cool ball. Now that, that's my most prized possession. It's from the very first Lions game Mrs. Grouse and I went to when we were dating. Oh, they had football back then? Yes, Miss Smarty Pants. Hey, check this out. I got the QB to sign it. Look at that. <gasps> He's in the Hall of Fame now. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. <laughs> hey, Mrs. G was the only person I knew who was as big a Lions fan as me. Until now. You know what? I want you to have this. Mrs. Grouse would want it to be in such good hands. Wow. Thank you, Mr. Grouse. This is the best gift I've ever gotten. I have to get you something special. Hmm. Here, my lucky socks. Wow, you wore these the whole season, didn't you? Thanks, Loud. So, guess I'll see you next season? You betcha. You know, baseball season is only a few weeks away. I was thinking the same thing. Opening day? It's a date. Psst, Clyde. Oh, hey, Lynn. Shh, shh, shh. I need your advice. Um, okay. But what if I'm terrified of giving the wrong advice? Dr. Lopez says I tend to let my fear control me. Bingo, and that's exactly why I came to you. Let's say I had this friend, and this friend was super tough and awesome at everything, but she, or he, was afraid of just one thing. Lynn, no disrespect, but I don't have time for hypotheticals. How can I help you? Fine, here's the deal. I'm going to Dairyland tomorrow, and I don't want to ride whipped scream because I'm terrified of throwing up. Blech. Lynn, no one likes to throw up. Yeah, but I hate it. I did it once when I was little, and it got all into my nose, and I tasted it for a week. Ugh, never again. So how do I beat this stupid fear and get on with my life? You can't beat it. You just need to live with it and be honest with your friends about it. Look them right in the eye and say, I am not comfortable with this situation. <laughs> That's dumb. What else you got? There's no other way. Dr. Lopez says you have to own up to your fears. Otherwise, you end up shoving them so far down that they come out in really weird ways. And I have a fear of being tardy, so can I please go? Fine. I'll just have to figure something else out. Thanks for nothing, McBride. Uh, Lynn, are you sure you want to drink that Dariana Grande iced tea Zuccino before we ride? Just worry about yourself there, champ. Hey, we're next! Hmm. Hey, 
Hey, don't push me! Whoa! Oh man, it's broken. Oh well, let's go. Oh. Ursula. Sorry, guys. Gotta pee. Mm. Mm. Hey, hey Darren Landers. It's your old pal, Tippy. No need to panic, but there's a wild rampaging cow loose in the park. Huh? <laughs> uh, Lynn, there you are. Can you believe it? We're not going to get to go on with Scream! Oh, I heard. But safety first, right? I'm sure we'll have plenty more chances to ride another time. We got our whole lives ahead of us. Actually, you don't. Duh, duh, I mean about the ride. Today is the last day of Whip Scream. We're closing it down to break ground on the new Dairyland Hotel. What? Oh. What? What's the only thing better than playing at Dairyland? Staying at Dairyland. Now run for your lives! Come on, everyone! Move! Oh, I can't believe we missed our chance for a final ride on Whipped Scream! I know! It's not fair! We'll never get to ride it again! Oh. Uh, I'll be right back. Hmm. <laughs> Ursula, there you are! Let's put down the cow head and head back to your pen now. Joining roller derby team. Ah! That was amazing. <sighs> You're welcome. Now you can reopen the park. Oh, thanks, kid. It's incredible! Thanks to you, we're gonna get our puke on! Yep, you guys have fun. Wait, aren't you coming with us? <sighs> no, I'm not. I should have been honest with you guys from the start. I don't want to go on whip scream because I'm terrified of throwing up. I know you're all gonna give me a hard time, but it's just how I feel. We're not gonna give you a hard time. You mean, you don't think I'm being a total wimp? No way! Would a total wimp be brave enough to ride the Ingray's cow in Michigan? If you don't want to go on Whip Scream, it's totally cool with us. <laughs>